Come, let us worship God, and bow low before the God who made us, for he is the Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. This is the Mass for the fifth Sunday in ordinary time, and the Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Paul Stevens. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job began to speak. Is not man's life on earth nothing more than press service? Is time no better than hired drudgery? Like the slave sighing for the shade, or the workman with no thought but his wages. Months of delusion I have assigned to me, nothing for my own but nights of grief. Lying in bed I wonder, when will it be day? Risen, I, thank, I think, how slowly evening comes. Restlessly I fret till twilight falls. Swifter than a weaver's shuttle, my days have passed and vanished, leaving no hope behind. Remember that my life is but a breath, and that my eyes will never see again joy. The word of the Lord. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. 
Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing to our God, for he is loving. To him our praise is due. Praise the Lord, who builds the body back. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I do not boast of preaching the gospel, since it is a duty which has been laid on me. I should be punished if I did not preach it. If I had chosen this work myself, I might have been paid for it. But as I have not, it is a responsibility which has been put into my hands. Do you know what my reward is? It is this, in preaching to be able to offer the good news free and not insist on the rights which the gospel gives me. So though I am not a slave of any man, I have made myself the slave of everyone, so as to win as many as I could. For the weak I made myself weak. I made myself all things to all men, in order to save some at any cost. And I still do this, for the sake of the gospel, to have a share in its blessings. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus went with James and John straight to the house of Simon and Andrew. Now Simon's mother-in-law had gone to bed with fever, and they told him about her straight away. He went to her, took her by the hand and helped her up, and the fever left her, and she began to wait on them. That evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were sick and those who were possessed by devils. The whole town came crowding round the door, and he cured many who were suffering from diseases of one kind or another. He also cast out many devils, but he would not allow them to speak, because they knew who he was. In the morning, long before dawn, he got up and left the house, and went off to a lonely place and prayed there. Simon and his companions set out in search of him, and when they found him they said, Everybody is looking for you. He answered, Let us go elsewhere, to the neighbouring country towns, so that I can preach there too, because that is why I came. And he went all through Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out devils. The Gospel of the Lord. Last Sunday we had a confrontation between Jesus and the devil in the person of the man who was possessed coming into the synagogue on the Sabbath. Jesus, of course, vanquishes the evil spirit and sets the man free. Mark's presentation of this first healing miracle puts at the heart of Jesus' ministry his purpose to set us free and lift us up from the dust where the devil's temptations have led us and held us captive. The demon protests as if Jesus has come to end the freedom he has to run amok with human souls, and so he has. In fact, Jesus has come to institute a new reign, the kingdom of God in which the devil has no place. Here is a new teaching, and with authority behind it. Jesus commands... And it happens. 
And so the battle lines are drawn. Jesus is going to set about undoing the effects of the devil's reign in the affairs of men. All the effects of original sin, be they illness, defects of body or soul, will now be healed. But notice something important here. Simon's mother-in-law had gone to bed with fever, and they told him about her straight away. He took her by the hand and helped her up, and the fever left her. They told him about her straight away. We have to bring our ills and needs to Jesus straight away. We should not wait, but go straight to him in faith and hope, knowing that he has the answer and the cure to help us up that we may serve him and one another. So the word gets out, as you can imagine. And after sundown, they brought in people who were suffering with diseases. They would be uneasy about bringing them while the Sabbath lasted. Such effort, or Jesus' curing of them, might be considered as breaking the Sabbath rest. The old Sabbath does not bring salvation. It only promises it. Jesus brings the new Sabbath, the sun who makes the sun day. He is the very light that puts away the darkness of sin and its effects. But they must come to his door. Once again, our faith should bring us to the open door where we shall find welcome from the Lord and healing for our souls. But here's the question. Why isn't all illness, bodily sickness, healed for Christians who pray with faith for their healing? like the people in this gospel. There are two points. First, it is important to see that although they are real, Jesus' physical healings are a sign, yes, a real sign, but pointing to the real sickness in the soul, the sickness we cannot see and perhaps lies hidden, but is far more debilitating than that of the body. Physical or mental illness affects our ability to realise our potential capabilities in this world. Spiritual illness, sin, affects our ability to realise our destiny in the next, as well as in this. Its effects are far greater. If we can see sin as doing to our souls what physical sickness does to mind and body, then we realise our need for the Lord, our spiritual doctor, and we will come to him. The other point which follows on from this is that the healing of the soul, signified by the healing of the body, helps us to rise up like Peter's mother-in-law and be disciples, even if our bodies remain unhealed. How many people go to Lord every year with sickness of mind or body and return with no miraculous cure of their ailments, but with a newfound strength and inner peace brought about by the abiding presence of the Lord and the prayers of his blessed mother. Poor old Job, whose life of suffering was nothing more than press service and his time no better than hired drudgery, did not have access to this grace, the grace that we have. We have that new Sabbath rest. This is the day the Lord has made. We should be, be glad and rejoice in it. For the Lord has come to heal the broken-hearted. This is the good news. It is free and it has the power to set us free. No vaccine can achieve this. Indeed, no power on earth. Let us open the door and welcome him in. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let's profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, 
and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and heals the brokenhearted. His children need only bring their requests before him and they will be heard. For those struggling with loneliness or other forms of depression, that they may know the consolation of the Lord, who was keen to enlighten all those throughout Galilee with the knowledge of his love. Lord, hear us. For missionaries, that they may grow ever stronger in the love of the Lord and in zeal for the salvation of souls, that in humility they may be, be always pleased to make themselves the slave of everyone to win them for Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, for those who are sick, that the Lord will grant them an increase in patience, that they may love him in obedience to his will, and be joyful in the knowledge that he seeks to bring them closer to himself. We pray also for those who care for the sick, that like Paul, they may be pleased to make themselves a slave to all those in their care. Lord, hear us. Lord, for all who are persecuted for the Christian faith, that they may not be discouraged in their suffering, but may hold firm in the knowledge of the love of God and of the reward that awaits them. We pray for those who work for the relief of persecuted Christians, that they may grow in zealous charity for those who suffer. Lord, hear us. Seek the intercession of Our Lady, who strengthens the labours of God's kingdom. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray for a few moments in the silence of our hearts for our own private needs and intentions. God our Father, you order all things to draw us closer to yourself. Forgive those times when we have followed our own will and grant us all that we need to walk the narrow way which leads to you. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, 
Grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. <clears throat> our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having reached, received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Laurence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, 
this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in peace, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. It was also your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles of martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, his wonders for the children of men. For he satisfies the thirsty soul, and the hungry he fills with good things. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant as we pray so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go on and announce the Gospel of the Lord. 